Welcome to the channel. I've got a 5.3 with the lifter tip. And uh, so Brian's Mobile One and Rigafix did this. They use the uh, B12 chem tool to spray down the push rod down to the lifter. And then uh, they used gunk motor flush, but I believe this is the same stuff motor medic motor flush. This is tick, it does not make the sound when you start it up. It makes the sound after it's warmed up. I can hear it most of the time when I'm next to a building. It's been around for a long time, so I finally decided that I've seen these videos with these guys using it, that I'm going to give it a shot. I'll share my experience, and uh, hopefully it goes away. All right, so this engine has 214,000 miles, and uh, looking a little ugly in there. That's probably why I have the lifter tap. But uh, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. Here's a valve cover. Alright, so I got this B12 chem tool, carburetor choke, throttle body cleaner. I'm going to spray this. Well, the idea is to get it in the holes so that it can go down to the lifters and clean out the little tiny hole in the lifter. I mean, I really don't know where the sound is coming from, but uh, I'm just going to do my best. I'm pretty sure it's something up here, and that seems like a common one, one of these lifters up here, but uh, I'll just do my best to try and uh, spray them all out. This engine's got a lot of varnish on it. It's not too chunky. At first, when I pulled this off, it was like a horror show. You know, I was horrified. And then I realized it's not really that, um, it's not that thick. I mean, it is on the valve cover, but it's not on the rockers. Now that I spray this B12 down these uh, rockers, the varnish is coming off. Woo! Kind of making a mess here. Did not intend to do that. Just happens. I just have a bad habit with it. Should probably be wearing uh, some safety glasses. So I've been spraying this chem tool. Fill these little holes. This truck's kind of high, I'm kind of short. I, uh... Oh, there goes my ringer. Here's what I got, motor medic, motor flush. It's pretty much uh, diesel and kerosene in a bottle. Make certain that oil and crankcase is up to safe level. Add motor medic to cold engine before changing oil and filter. Idle engine at normal speed for five minutes. Do not drive Let's vehicle say on engines over 75,000 miles or excessive deposits. Remove and clean the oil pan. So I'm gonna have to do that at some point. Refill crank case with oil. All right, so I mean, give it a shot and see what happens. Uh oh.
All right, so that was about five minutes. Now we're gonna get under there and uh, drain the oil. Check it out. Look at all that. Would you just look at that? <laughs> it's a lot of crap that was in that engine. So what this tells me is I'm going to be doing this again for a while until it stops. Look at those chunks. All right, well, thanks for watching the video on the lifter tick. Uh, it's going to have to keep getting flushed out. So. Uh, up until those chunks can stop coming out of it, but uh, I've got some faith. It, it, it sounds better right now uh, My AC tensioner Which is not that old. I think I did it about two years ago is Making some noise so that's gonna have to be soon. You know, I'm not hearing the lifter tick anymore I think it's gonna come back the there's a lot of junk in that engine So I'll just keep uh, nursing it and it'll get there eventually um, Yeah, uh, until next time like comment subscribe subscribe <laughs> Insult, have at it.